In this tutorial, I'm going to route all the traces on the PCB. And that is, I'm going to make all the metal connections between all the, all the nodes that need to be connected. So, when I'm done, all these little wires here should disappear. Because these wires indicate the unrouted nets, and the unrouted connections. So, there's two options for routing. There's manual routing, and there's auto routing. So I'm going to show a little bit of both. Um, certain designs can't be auto-routed. They're just too too dense or too complicated. Uh, placement has a lot to do with how easily and how quickly and how well the auto-router runs. Uh, typically, buses are better to do by hand. And uh, power connections are also better to do by hand. Now, this design is, is so sparse that I'm sure the auto router would run just fine, but I want to demonstrate some of the manual routing. So, what I'm going to use here, if you go to the, see my mouse, I'm going to click on this interactive router. And there's a lot of different options here. You can place a via and place a pad, and, and, and there's some other, you know, differential pair things. but. Basically, we're going to use the, the basic interactive router. Um, now, you can see down here, oops, you can see down here, let me get out of this a second, uh, which layer I'm on. So, when I click interactive router, router <laughs> um, I'll either start on the top layer or the bottom layer, and I can select which one. So, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to route the bus between here and here, because this is something that I can do much easier than the auto router. All right? So, I'm going to zoom in real close so you can see. When I get close to a connection point, the symbol changes. Well, now you can't see it. There, you see the circle. So I can click on this, and the auto router is going to help guide me to the right path. And you see this arrow is always telling me where I need to end up. So, I'm going to do something like that and end up right there. And I can keep doing this and route all now you'll notice it won't let me it won't let me violate the design rules. It won't let me cross over here. If I want to cross this line, I would need to press the asterisk on the numpad, which will place a via and then move me to the bottom layer. But that's actually not what I want to do. So I can hit the backspace key, and I can go back to where I was. All right, so I'm just going to quickly route all the nodes in this bus. So this interactive router is is actually very very fun to play with. Uh, I enjoy it, anyway. Um, one of the cool things about it is, say you, you take a path like this, and then, oops, and then you decide, by the way, I'm I'm right-clicking to, to finish routing the net, and then I decide I actually want to take a different path. Say, for example, um, you know, I want to go out here, and then connect back to this node. Well, I can do that, and it'll get rid of the other one. So it, it it'll it'll get rid of the that unneeded copper. Um, but I actually would rather have the shorter path. All right. Oops. All right, so now I've routed this bus, and I'm going to go ahead and let the auto router try its luck at the rest, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to save first. Always save before running the auto router. Make sure all your design rules are set correctly, and you go to auto route, and you can auto route just a certain net or a class or a room or whatever. But we're going to auto route um, everything. Alright, and, and for now, I'm just going to 
stick with, with all the default settings. Alright, we're going to let it go, and it'll take a little bit of time. Alright, and it's done. And it has... It, it routed 53 of 53 connections, so... It, it, there was no connections that it failed to route. Um, so this means it was successful. But you still need to run a design rail check, uh, because sometimes it does make mistakes. Now, now there's certain things that, that we need to notice here. Hmm. Now, what's interesting is the VCC and ground wires are only 8 mils wide, and I, I thought that my design rules constrain them to be um, 25 mils, so, so we need to check on that. Uh, first, I'm going to run a design rule check. So I'll go to design, I'll go to tools, design rule check. Okay, I'm going to run it. Alright, and we have no rule violation, so I'm, there must be something wrong with my rules, so I will need to check on that. Alright, so let's go check on our design rules, and look at the rule for power width, and we notice, ah, there is a problem. So this should be an OR. This, this rule should apply to the net VCC and the net ground, not the AND of the two, which isn't possible. Alright, so we apply this, and oh, suddenly we see all this green. So green indicates a design rule violation. And so we'll notice that all of our ground and VCC wires are now in violation of that design rule. So the easiest thing to do at this point is actually just to undo that auto route, and we'll go ahead and run it again. Ah. So it looks like we have some, some clearance, pad clearance, violations. So hold on, let me let me check that first. So b before we run um, the auto router, let me run a design rail check. Alright, so we have a lot of violations here. And they're all well, broken nets, so we expect that. Alright, so the design rails are okay. So I'll go ahead and run the auto router. Um, and they're complaining about pad clearance, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let it do what it can. Um, you'll notice it's taking longer this time. Okay, so it's done, but it failed to complete two of the connections. So those two connections we're gonna have to go back and do by hand. Okay. So you'll notice now it's using the the thicker traces for the power because that's what our design rules require. And so here's one of the things that it can't do is it can't connect this to ground. Okay. So we can go ahead and try to do that for it. Uh, we'll, we'll switch to the interactive router. See, I need to go to the bottom layer, and I'll connect from there. By the way, if I hit if I hit space, I can change which angle it's going to come out of that that node at at that via, or I guess it's a pad. Hold on a second. I have another program that's asking for my attention. Okay, so let me back back to this routing. I will just select that. Okay. So that's one of the problems, and there's the other one right there. So I'll go ahead and get that one too. Okay. Now let's see. We're gonna run the. We're gonna save. Um, 